In the first video on this playlist, I showed you how to make a French cleat with a table saw, but you could also make a French cleat with a skill or circular saw. Now, after you make your French cleat, you screw one of the pieces to the back of the cabinet and one of the pieces to the wall. The piece that goes on the wall is going to have its highest point here and the shorter side at the wall. Do you see that? Just like this. So it's angling down towards the wall. The piece that you put on your cabinet should look just like this with the short side of the angle against the cabinet and the long side away from the cabinet. So that way when I hang them up, they kind of lock together like this. What I didn't show you in that video, because my iPhone erased it, was that I also added a filler block to the bottom. I just used what I had cut off of my French cleats in the first place and screwed it to the bottom so that this cabinet will sit nice and flush against the wall. Or flat, I should say. If I did not have that, this would eventually be touching here, but out the thickness of the French cleat there, which I don't want. Some of you have asked, well, what if I don't want this space back there? That's fine. You could either inset the cleat into your cabinet or you can simply add a piece of trim to cover that gap. The way this is, it's easily removable. If you'd like to make it a little bit more permanent, you can take a screw and screw it right through the bottom cleat that's on the wall, which will hold the cabinet to that bottom cleat and you will not be able to just lift it out unless you take that screw out. Your angle should be anywhere between 22 and a half and 45 degrees. I understand a lot of people do 45. It's really not necessary, but it's up to you. A French cleat can hold a lot of weight, but that also means that you need to get your French cleat into the studs. To hang something that's this small that will be between studs, I only used one screw, but this is also a sample. If I was hanging an actual cabinet, I would use at least two screws in every stud on the wall member. If you like, you could also do the same cleat at the bottom so that when you set the top cleat in, it's also sitting into the bottom cleat, or it could just be a filler piece that's simply the thickness of your French cleat. So when hanging a French cleat, make sure you hit the studs with your wall member and your French cleat should hold up plenty of weight.